Well, the Isle of Man's always been involved in the space race. If you believe all the publicity over the last few years, that's certainly been the case. But uh, an interesting development, should we say, is that the man is going back to the moon. It's official and it could be within the next decade. Uh, Rob's joining us from Houston, who's involved with this project. And the link, the reason why we're doing this is it's an Isle of Man based company you work for. So I'm all ears to find out why you're doing what you're doing and you're doing it from Houston but in the Isle of Man. So over to you, men on the moon living there. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm actually the executive director of the International Institute of Space Commerce, which is created and based out of the Isle of Man. And as we all know, the Isle of Man is quickly becoming the center of the commercial space sector. We have so many companies that are doing business out of the Isle and doing business through the Isle that it just made sense that the IISC, as we call it, was formed there, and the IISC was created as, as a think tank that would uh, support commercial space. And what a think tank does is basically we do research, we write white papers to support our given topic, and in this case, it's space commerce. And the theory that came about with this latest set of white papers that's just now getting released, it's called the Lunar Economic Action Plan. And the idea was, is it viable for commercial groups to put their own facility on the moon and make a profit off, off of it? And that's what the this set of white papers is looking towards. And You'll come to find out as you read this uh, document that it, it can and it will be done. And we're talking about in the next decade, aren't we? Oh, yes. Um, now, NASA has, uh, under the Trump administration, has announced its plans to go back to the moon. But uh, now that we're seeing what's happening with SpaceX and other companies, and we have lunar resources, and we have other companies that are just bringing up, that would like to uh, make a profit. Um, one thing I learned at the International Space University, they, the first thing they taught us was that uh, economics always wins. But the second thing they taught us was that economics trumps. And with the resources on earth that we have today, I mean, we've all heard the stories of peak oil and have we reached peak oil. Uh, you know, lithium is of short supply, but it's of increasing demand for our batteries. So we need to look elsewhere. And so it goes, we're starting to look towards asteroid mining, and we're starting to look towards the moon. And uh, all our uh, economic uh, indicators show that uh, there's a profit to be made there. And if there's a profit to be made, it's going to happen. Okay, well, we've been involved before. We've got shots of the Almaz uh, space unit, which was up here in the Isle of Man and uh, has been removed now. That seems to have disappeared, but there was always talk about launching space tourism from the Isle of Man. Uh, I mean, besides you're based here, is it, is it purely a tax thing or, or will the Isle of Man, will we see a Max Flag involved, for instance, on the, on the moon? I think there will be. Uh... Because I think that the, and it's not just the tax, it's the leadership that's coming out of the Isle of Man. That uh, the Isle of Man, uh, the, the thinkers on commercial space have originated in the Isle of Man. And uh, Mansat in particular has taken a lead in the commercial space sector. And um, I think there will be a Minx flag on the Isle of, on the moon because the, a lot of the companies that are going to be operating there will be based in the Isle of Man. So you've been here before or do you stay just in Houston? How's it work for you? Okay, well, I am an American, but I am working for the IISC. And uh, I, when I took the job, I was actually in Huntsville, Alabama at the uh, um, con consulting with the NASA Center there. But I, uh, we made the decision to move me back to Houston um, for multiple reasons, because of the Johnson Space Center and the uh, hub of uh, space that is here in Houston and also the ease of travel from Houston and such. I do plan on making a, the Isle of Man my second home and uh, traveling there on a regular basis as we grow the Institute and as commercial space uh, grows and uh, it gets more lucrative. 
one of the things that we're doing with the Institute is we, we're repurposing it to be the Chamber of Commerce to the Cosmos. And so that's going to give a lot, a lot of the companies a bigger benefit of being involved with the aisle. So this is a commercial operation. This is nothing to do with tax dollars and uh, Mr. Trump himself or anybody else like that. This is people investing in your sort of ideals to, to, to go back to the moon. Yes, the, the Institute is a, uh, the Institute itself is nonprofit. And though we have been supported by the aisle, uh, the majority of our budget is uh, coming from commercial groups that uh, where we're um, providing their services. And these services include these uh, white papers that were uh, that, that are being published right now, the uh, Lunar Economic Action Plan. And the benefit the commercial companies are getting out of these this research is they have something to hold in their hand and present to whether it's a potential customer or if it's a uh, parliamentarian or the you know their MP or uh, their congressperson and say, hey, the numbers show that this can be done and it will be done and. Uh, you know, we would like for you to uh, help us make sure that the policy is in place to support this. OK, well, I look forward to many more chats with you. And uh, if I'm still here, watching the uh, actual development, the idea taking shape. Yes, and it's we're in for a very exciting time coming up. We're going to be seeing some of the first uh, mining operations on the moon, I think, within the next 10 to 12 years.